The path tool is a tool that we can use to create unique cutting and drawing lines or shapes. Let me show you how to use it. First I'll clear down the workspace and zoom in a little so that we can see better. The path tool is located on the toolbar and it's indicated by the zigzag line with dots running through it. To activate it, move your cursor over it and click. Alternatively, you can press the P key on your keyboard. The path tool works by plotting points along a line. So we need to tell it where to put those points. We start by making a single click to set the origin. Then you'll see that when you move your cursor, this elastic band is stretched out to where you want the next point to be. To set the next point, again, just click. Repeat this until you have your line the way you want it. When you get to the end, you will double click on the last point to set it. Now you can see the familiar bounding box has appeared and we can resize and do all the usual changes that we do to other shapes. We're not just limited to straight points. If I activate the tool again, set my origin point with a single click, the next time I set a point, I will click and drag. And you will see this will form a curve on the previous part of the line. When I release the mouse button, the next part of the line will also curve. We set the next point. This time I'll do a single click to give myself a straight corner. Then on the next point, click and drag. And repeat. Again, when you get to your last point, you will double click to set that in place. We can also use the path tool to create closed shapes. So activate the tool and start plotting as we did before, either with straight points or with curved points. And we would follow the shape all the way around until we drag the line and the cursor over the origin and we can see our mouse cursor changes to a pointing hand at which point we single click to finish that shape and close it off. As opposed to the first two examples which are open paths, this is a closed shape. So these would be good for drawing lines or perhaps scoring or perhaps creating new edges for existing shapes. This one however would be good for cutting out of a material whether it be cardstock or shrink plastic. It doesn't matter, it's just a closed shape. What about combining those two to create something unique? Let me just shrink that one down a bit. And I will also show you an extra um, feature of the path tool. This time I'll activate it by pressing the P key on my keyboard. I will set my origin point with a single click as before, but this time I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard. You can see now that as I rotate my cursor around the origin, the elastic line is constrained to 45 degree angles. It's great when you want to get straight lines involved with your projects. If I drag this line out and set my second point, drag it and set my third point, drag it and double click to set the last point. Now I have an open shape. So basically the machine will cut along those lines, 
but the shape itself will remain in the cardstock because we're not performing the cut on that last line. What we can do, however, is create a line that runs from the origin of the previous shape to its exit point, double click to set that in place, and then in the properties dialog box, change the dash pattern to one of these intermittent lines and we then have something like an advent calendar door so we would have the solid cuts on three sides and the dashed cut on one side and that will create a flap in our project. Thinking back to earlier lectures we can select both of those and group them together with G on our keyboard and we can then resize that door to be whatever size we want it to be in our project. Those are the main operational features of the path tool. How and when you use them is entirely up to you, but I would encourage you to have a go at both the straight lines and the curved lines, creating the closed shapes, and also combining the different types together to create various different options for you in your future projects.